Jim. Today we're going to do a serpentine belt and an air filter on a uh, Ford Triton. My Ford V10, you may also notice. The 650 is back in here on the left. It's developed some sort of a coolant leak and I can't see anything from the top, so I'm going to have to pick it up. That'll be on a different day. And my X5 has lost its mind. Um, I don't know. It's stranded us several times. That's a whole different story. I'll tell you another time. But today, it's Ford day. It's my 99 Ford F250. It's got a bit of a rough paint job on the hood here. I'm going to go get a hood prop to hold this up. Because I don't really trust those guys when I'm going to be in here. And today... We're going to do a replacement on that serpentine belt. Uh, the one that was in here, it was really bad, and, and I ordered a new one. And that's the first thing you got to make sure of. The reason why I'm going to be able to show you how to do this in a way that I know works is because I've already done it a couple times. When you order your new belt, there are two kinds. One kind has uh, is longer for trucks that have air conditioning, and one is shorter if you don't have air conditioning. And if you just say, I want a serpentine belt for my Triton V10 or whatever, they give you the short one. Because he didn't ask me. I went to Napa, didn't ask me if it had AC. He said, what do you got? I told him, he asked the questions on his screen, sold me the belt, it's the wrong one. So I have a little practice doing this. Make sure you got the right size belt. For our belt job, all you need is, I, I only have these out as a demonstration of how thick they are from there to here. This is the one we're going to choose because it's the lowest profile head here. And you'll see why that's important in a minute. And then I'm going to add this breaker bar pipe here uh, to the end to give it more leverage and get it up out of the engine bay. This one would have been great. It's just too deep. I'm using a six foot ladder. I, uh, I'm very glad that my light bar isn't here so I can step on the bumper. And if we look in here, now I've got to climb clear up onto this, uh, into the engine compartment to be able to reach. And you'll see looking down there that I have put my half inch drive ratchet into the uh, belt tensioner and I've got my pipe here over the handle of the ratchet and if I turn it clockwise you can see that it takes the tension off the belt see that so what I'm going to do since the alternator is right on top here you see the tension coming off the belt when I'm, I'm going to set the phone down and I'm going to pull the belt off over from the uh, alternator pulley. So there we have the belt off of the alternator pulley. Haven't done anything else. Just took it off there. So the rest of them all come off there. Now I've got to get it off the crank pulley on the bottom. And then the last one is over here and there's a pinch. It's where the belt goes through the tensioner and the idler pulley and over to the air conditioner. So I'll show you when I pull that one out. Okay, I'm going to have to reach down there and pull the belt off of the air conditioner pulley. It's loose. I just have to slide it forward so it can, be, uh, it can go by the front of the pulley. It's off of the AC pulley. And now you can see when I pull it out, come on, baby. I'm going to need two hands. Hold on. Okay, so a loop comes out of there like this, because this is what went around my AC pump. So everything else I've got off, and out comes the pulley or the belt. 
before we go any further, I'm going to open up my new one and stretch it out inside my old one and make sure it's the right size. It checks out. So out with the old and with the new. So putting this back on, it's not really as hard and as daunting as it seems. There is a diagram of how the belt is supposed to go right here on the uh, next to the radiator. And that's helpful if you haven't done this before. But I found uh, since I've done this three times in the last couple days, um, starting out by putting the pinch through that goes to your AC compressor. So you pinch that and get it through the, uh, the tensioner. I'll show you when I come down to do it, but then I'm just explaining what my theory is. Then the next thing I'll do is I'll start at the very bottom and I'll route the belt that goes down around the, uh, uh, the crank pulley, which is at the very bottom. And then work my way over to the right where the power steering pump is. And once I get everything routed through, I don't have to mess with my belt tensioner at all until I get everything routed. And all I have left to put on is the alternator, which is at the very top. So I've got my little loop there. And now I'm going to push the loop through between those two pulleys. And it's got to be back. So it clears a bolt there. There we go. All right. So now I'm going to reach down again on the left side and get the belt around the pulley on the air conditioner compressor. And I'm going to be uh, paying attention to uh, it's got all these little grooves here. I'm going to make sure that the belt is correctly on there, that it's not off a couple and hanging off the edge front or back. It has to be just right on this pulley or on the pulley down there. Next, after getting it on the, uh, the air conditioner pulley and I pulled it a little both ways to make sure it's seated in there properly. Next, I'm going to make a loop by pushing more down here that will make it big enough to get around the crank pulley because it's supposed to go down and around the crank pulley and then back up on this side and then ride over this on the back of the belt. So let me push the loop down in there and get it wrapped around the crank pulley. I got it over or around the crank pulley and then uh, back over the pulley where it rides on its back. There. And then down to the power steering. And all we have left is to slip it over the alternator here at the top. Everything else is threaded. So I'm going to have to use two hands to do that. But once again, I'll just put my cheater bar on the ratchet. And it should go right on there. Well, that's how you change a serpentine belt on a Triton V8 and V10. They're the same. So now I'm just going to take this ring, loosen it up, and get in here and change the uh, air filter. After unbuckling, I just uh, maneuvered this up and over enough to clear pulling out. That's why it's flexible there. And always inspect those and think those are going to be a culprit if you have a vacuum leak because in between the accordion they crack sometimes anyway i got the uh, air filter out it was definitely time <laughs> okay out with the old in with the new when you put in the new filter make sure that you seat it all the way around in the housing you can't be sitting up proud it's got to be down in there yeah like that if you don't do that then this won't go back on and buckle down properly where these come together it is a tight fit just make sure you have the air filter seated all the way in there and then when you get this started you actually do have to use this big clamp to get enough leverage for it to slip down that's why shaped this way and it 
then pinches itself together as you close this on the final clip down. But it's a little bit difficult. So that's how I did a serpentine belt and uh, air filter on my beautiful Ford. Thanks for watching.